Hello and welcome to Tweet Tracker, a tool for the collection, analysis, and export of Twitter data. We're going to begin by logging into the system. Users collect data through Tweet Tracker by creating jobs. Each job contains a specific set of parameters that are interesting to that user. We're going to begin by going to the admin panel and seeing what other users have chosen in creation of their jobs. So we'll begin by looking at the Hurricane Sandy New York job. Clicking it, we see some of the keywords that the user selected when they created this data set. Here we see Hurricane Sandy, Florida, Storm, and so on. If they wanted to, they could have created geographic bounding boxes, which would collect all the geotag tweets from the region they specified. They also could have collected specific tweets from Twitter users. Here we see that any username added, we will get their tweets. When we collect data through Twitter, we're only allowed to get a specific subset. Usually keywords and hashtags only give about 1%. Same goes for geographic bounding boxes. Finally, the good news is with Twitter usernames, we get about 100% of the tweets that we, the users produce. Let's begin by going to the Tweet Trends window and seeing how many tweets we got on each day from Hurricane Sandy. We'll choose Hurricane Sandy in the Event Selection window, shown here and we'll change the trends date selection to the time period when the hurricane actually occurred, about October 25th through November 2nd of 2012. We click Process and look at the time series. And here we see on the right a time series view of the number of tweets we got on each day for the Hurricane Sandy data. Mousing over one of the days, we see we got about 483,000 tweets from Hurricane Sandy on October 27th. Had we chosen a different granularity, such as hour, week, or month, we would have seen a time series grouped by that particular granularity. Let's go over to Tweetalyzer and see some of the other visualizations offered by Tweet Tracker. Here we're going to continue with the Hurricane Sandy dataset, but we're going to change the date a little bit. We're going to focus on one hour of October 29th, and that's on the day that the hurricane made landfall. Let's go from about 2 o'clock p.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. If we wanted to, we could enter particular keywords or hashtags which interested us, but we won't. We're just going to continue with all of the tweets in the data set. And we click Load Tweets to get the data. As the controls populate, we see some of the data that was generated within this time period. First, we see the map at the top of the screen. The green dots represent geolocated tweets, and the blue dots represent profile-located tweets. To get the user's location from their profile, we use the GeoNames API to try to find a latitude-longitude coordinate for their profile location. In the bottom, we see a list of the tweets which were published during this time period. We can scroll through and uh, look at individual tweets. If we find a tweet that is not in English, we can click it and it will be translated. Also, we have an Entities tab here. This will show us the top URLs, users, and hashtags authored within that time period. On the right, we see a tag cloud. The font of each word in the tag cloud is scaled according to the number of times the word occurs in the data. Clicking a single word will bring up a window showing all the tweets containing that particular word. Let's now go over to the search export function and export some data to the desktop. After going to the search export screen, we see that we have the same data in this window as we did in the Tweetalyzer. In the top, we have a keyword search, which accepts Boolean parameters. Uh, we also have a geobox search, which will get tweets geolocated from a particular region. We also have a user search, which allows you to search for specific users. They can also be knotted out to remove tweets from those particular users. Finally, we can also search for tweets authored in a certain language. To export, we can check the boxes next to each individual tweet. We can also select all tweets at once using the Select All button. Tweet Tracker supports three different kinds of output TSV, tab separated values, XML, and Aura, a tool developed by CMU. So we click the export button. Each export is limited to 50,000 tweets. This is to keep in agreement with Twitter's API limitations. Take an OK, and we click the download button to save the export on our desktop. This has been a brief introduction to Tweet Tracker. We hope you enjoyed. Thank you.